Now in this demonstration we'll continue with our example of the simple compression spring, but I want to show a little trick on how you can simulate the compression or extension of a spring, and we'll do that using configurations. First thing we need to do is identify the dimensions that will change as we simulate the compression of our spring. If I double click on my helical feature, you can see my overall length dimension here is shown as D3 at helix spiral 2. I'm going to double click on that dimension, and notice in the property manager where I can uh, go in and give a more descriptive name to that dimension. I'm going to call this one length. Now, the idea behind uh, simulating the compression and extension is just to have different dimensional values for the length and we can cycle through those different values in the form of different configurations. So we'll need to create a couple of different configurations, maybe one in the extended position, one in the compressed position, and so forth. So a very easy way to do that is to right click on our sweep feature and choose configure feature. This brings up a little miniature spreadsheet where I can then go in and create new configurations. All I need to do here is identify the dimension that's to be added to the table. I'll double click on my helix feature double click on my, my length dimension and you can see that a column is added to the configuration spreadsheet. Now I just type in in the spreadsheet the name of my various configurations. I'll call one extended and it takes on a value of 4. I'll call one compressed which takes on a value of 2 and then finally a middle with a value of 3. Apply and OK and you'll see SolidWorks has now created different configurations for us that we can access through the Configuration Manager tab. As I cycle through the different configurations the model takes on the new values that were assigned to it in the configuration table. Our compressed, our middle, and extended states can all coexist simultaneously in assemblies, in drawings, etc. It's a great way that we can simply uh, simulate the compression or extension state of our spring.